Hello, this is Arthur Hill with StockCharts.com. You are tuned in to a video edition of the Mailbag, and today we're going to talk about the difference between dividend-adjusted data and unadjusted data. So by default, StockCharts uses dividend-adjusted data, and that means when a stock or ETF goes ex-dividend, we put that dividend back into the price so you can get a truer picture of the total return. And I'm going to show the difference that that makes with two charts. But first, if you see a discrepancy in a chart, for instance, if you're looking at the data and you see that this data doesn't match the data you're seeing on another vendor, I suggest you look at the dividends and see how they're affecting the security. Now, the way you can check if a dividend has been paid is to go to our data update page. And that is in the blog section. So if you click on the blogs link at the top of any stock charts page, you'll be taken, of course, to our blogs. And you would scroll down and go to the right hand side near the bottom. And there you will find a list of all of our blogs. And here we can see data updates. And if you click that, you'll be taken to the data update blog. So here I am on the data update blog, and if you scroll down, there you can see data adjustment activity report and the date. And you can see the symbol, the action, and the details, and most of these are dividends paid. For instance, we can see that the symbol BUSE had a dividend paid of four cents. Now, if a stock or an ETF pays no dividend, of course, it doesn't make any difference if you adjust the data or not, such as the S&P 500 doesn't pay a dividend in the index. If there's a low dividend, it's not going to make that much of a difference. The difference comes when you're looking at high yield stocks or ETFs, such as utilities, REITs, or bond ETFs. The example I'm going to show you here is the Barclays High Yield Bond ETF, JNK. And it pays a dividend of around 20 cents a month, which is a pretty nice dividend. Now, this is the normal dividend adjusted data, which is shown by default. When you look on this chart, you can see the symbol is JNK. That's the default symbol, and that's the default data. And you can see that you have a new high and a breakout. And you can also see that the one year rate of change, because this is going all the way back, the price performance over one year, it's up around 5% over the past year, and that includes dividends. But what would this look like without dividends? Well, to show any symbol without an adjustment in the data, you would put an underscore before it. So you can see here we've got underscore and then J in K. And that paints a completely different picture. Here we don't have the dividends factored into the price, so you really don't know what the total return is. And as I said, that's very important for bond ETFs, utilities, and REITs because they pay high dividends. So you can see on this price chart, we haven't even hit a new high because the dividends were not priced back into the share price. And if you look at the one year performance, we're down 1%. And that's because we're missing about 6% worth of dividends over the past year, 20 cents a month. And if you factor those in, as you do in the J and K symbol that I showed you before, then you have a positive return of 5%. So keep that in mind when you're charting your securities. If you're using uh, charts for utilities, REITs, and bond ETFs, you definitely need to use the dividend adjusted data for the other securities like SPY and those that pay a fairly small dividend, you can get away with unadjusted data. All right, that includes this video on the difference between dividend adjusted data and unadjusted data. Thanks very much for tuning in and have a great day.